Our story begins at a high school called Westington High, but this high school is quite different from other high schools. The school's students are separated into four major groups. The averages, which are just normal students that stay out of all of the drama that the other three groups cause. Next, there's the populars. This group is made out of three self-centered rich girls who are pretty and they know it. Their favorite pastimes include gossiping, being master blackmailers, and cheating on their boyfriends. The vicious leader of this group is Amanda Anderson, and trust me, you don't want to mess with her. Then there's the local gang of the high school. However, they don't really do any gang stuff, but that's besides the point. The gang's name is the Rose Thorns. This is their leader, Nevaeh Cooper, and she holds the most records for the most school fights. And then there is their main rival, the Softies. Yes, that's what their actual name is. Their leader, Felicity, may look sweet and innocent, but she's probably one of the most bitter leaders out of all of them. Now that you know the basics, let's meet our two main characters. This is Bambi, one of the most powerful members in the Rose Thorns. She's got a girlfriend named Giselle, but between you and me, she doesn't actually really like her very much. On the other hand, we have Paisley, who is essentially the complete opposite of Bambi. She's a softie who's never been interested in a boy, but doesn't really know why. Well, I should probably stop rambling now and just get into the story. So, it all started on a normal Monday morning. Hey, Vera, why aren't you over with the group? Oh, I can't today. Sorry, Pays. I have a really important presentation I have to practice, and I was just about to actually go head over to the vending machine and get some heart biscuits, and then go to my homeroom classroom and get even more extra practice in but I can't seem to find my wallet anywhere. Oh, don't worry about it. You still owe me from that one other time. I'll get you the heart biscuits. And I'll meet you in your homeroom. Oh my god, Pays, you're a literal lifesaver. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, really, Vera, it's nothing. Now, go practice. Okay, okay, thank you again. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh, come on. Looks like they're out. Um, maybe... The one's around. Yes! What the hell do you think you're doing, Softy? Oh, uh, sorry. It's just that our vending machine wasn't working, so... Does it look like I care? I just want to know why you're stealing our food. Well, it's technically public property, and I did pay for it, so... So you think you're smart, huh? I'd pick the next few words you say very carefully. You don't scare me, you know. Why the hell not? Because I bet you're only one fight away from getting suspended, and our group's finally made a truce, and I doubt you want to screw that up. You make a good point, Softy. I'll give you that. So, how about this? I let you take your snack, and in exchange, you owe me a favor. What kind of favor? Do we have a deal or not? Fine. I guess I'll talk to you later. It's Bambi. <laughs> like, wait, actually, your parents named you after a Disney character? Yeah, I know, it's just hilarious. So, what's your name? Oh, it's Paisley. Wait, let me get this straight. You're making fun of my name when you were named after a pattern? Well, at least it's a pretty pattern. Yeah, I highly disagree with that. Well, uh, agree to disagree then. I have to get going though, so I'll see you around, Bambi. You too.
Yeah, it was like super sick. Hey, Bambi, where the hell is my food? I got distracted. What? Were you making out with your girlfriend or something? No. Some softie was trying to steal from us. What? I trust that you dealt with her? Yeah, but there was something different about her. Oh god, don't tell me you like her. Of course not, I know the rules. Pets from other groups can't date. Okay, good. I wouldn't like to lose one of my best members to some softy. But just for curiosity's sake, do you know anything about a girl named Paisley? Does it matter? She's a softie, that's all you need to know. Maybe you should be giving this attention to your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean it, Bambi. It's best if you just forget about her. Yeah, I will. See you later, Nevea. God. Why can't I get her out of my head? Oh, screw it. I have to know more about her. Well, well, I'm quite surprised to be getting a call from you. You know I wouldn't be calling unless I was desperate, and besides, you still owe me. Yes, that's true, so what do you need? What do you know about a girl named Paisley? Oh, isn't she a softie? How the hell would I know? Isn't that your job? Jesus, you don't need to get so defensive. Just let a girl think. I, I don't like her. If that's what you're thinking. I never said that. It's just, she has these big blue ocean eyes, and her fur smells like strawberries. But you don't like her? What? Of course not. <laughs> you know, it's okay to say you do. I'm not much of a blackmailer like Mia and Amanda are. <sighs> yeah, I know, but... It could never work, so... She probably doesn't even like pearls anyways, so... Why'd you even bother? Oh, okay, I remember some stuff. She's a vegetarian... She's really smart, 4.0 smart, and... Oh yeah, the weirdest part. She's never had a boyfriend. Wait, seriously? Yep, but... For the most part, I just remember her being an overall really sweet girl. And I don't even think she's one of those two-faced, backstabbing softies. God, I thought you'd give me more reasons to hate her, not more to like her. Don't blame the messenger. Anyways, I've got pets to piss off on Twitter, but I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, thanks. And just a word of advice. Screw what other pets think. Do what makes you happy. Okay, talk later, Bam. Hey, I definitely couldn't say you could call me that. Either way, though, it was way too expensive, so I had to pass. Oh god, that sucks, Josie. You should really keep an eye on it to see if it goes on sale. Oh, that's actually a really good idea, Vera. Thanks. Paisley, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, uh, Bambi? What are you doing here? Paisley, you know this ruffian? Hey, speak for yourself, Two-Face. Excuse me? Uh, just give us a second, Felicity. Let's go over here. Oh, um, be right back. Come on, pick up the pace, softy. Bambi, where are we going? The ice cream parlor. Wait, what? It's the middle of a school day. Exactly, we're ditching. Oh, no, 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 no. We are definitely not. Oh, right, I forgot. You're such a goody two-shoes. You've probably never ditched before. Well, of course I haven't. Unlike you, I actually care about my education. Yeah, whatever. You have to come. Uh, no I don't. Ever heard of free will? You owe me, remember? Yeah, but look, you either come with me now or next time I'll ask for something way worse. God, I knew I shouldn't have agreed to this stupid deal. Now, come on, softie, we're burning daylight here. 
fine, I'm coming. I do have to admit, this is kinda nice. Oh, don't go turning into a pad girl on me. Well, I'd still rather be at school. Whatever you say, softy. Hey, what's up with the vanilla? What do you mean? It's my favorite flavor. Yeah, but it's the boringest. That's a personal opinion. And I could say the same about you and your strawberry. Uh, strawberry is way better. Strawberry anything is better than anything vanilla. Well, agree to disagree then. Hmm, maybe I'm rubbing off a bit on you too. Hey, don't get too ahead of yourself now. I know I probably shouldn't be saying this considering we're from different groups, but... I've really liked talking to you and spending time with you. Oh, uh, I like talking to you, too. If you don't mind me asking, why did you join the Rose Thorns? God, it was such a long time ago now. I don't even really remember. I guess all my friends joined, so I did too. What about you and the softies? Kind of the same thing, honestly. Do you, uh, agree with most of the rules? I mean, I agree with most of them, but a few are a little outrageous. Yeah, I get that. So what- Ugh, hold on a sec. Ugh, it's my girlfriend. You don't sound very- happy about that. Yeah, well, if you knew Giselle, you wouldn't be too happy about it either. Oh, god, I gotta break up with this girl again. How many times have you two broken up? Good question. Uh, ten, at least? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Look, Softy, really sorry I have to do this, but I have to go and deal with this female dog. But rain check? You want to do this again? Wait, what even was this? It's whatever you wanted it to be, Softy. See you around. Come on, Vera, pick up. Pace? Where were you today? Did you get sick or something? Vera, I think I like girls. Wait, what happened? Oh, right. Let me fill you in. So, you ditch school to go spend the day with a girl named Bambi, who's a part of the Rose Thorns, because you owed her for the heart biscuits that you got from the Rose Thorns vending machine? Oh, and she kissed me. She what? It was just on the cheek. Pays, are you listening to yourself? You just met this girl. And after a peck on the cheek, you decide you're into girls and want to go against the cardinal rule of our group? Yeah, you're right. But it kind of makes sense. Me liking girls and all. Oh yeah, that part totally makes sense. I knew it was really weird that you didn't like any of the guys. And besides, she has a girlfriend. And you know, she's a part of the Rose Thorns. Yeah, and... Oh, God. What? I, I... I can't like girls, Vera. Why not? No one in the group would care. It's not them I'm worried about. It's my family. Oh my God. Yeah, I forgot how your family was. But God, Vera, what am I gonna do? Honestly, Paisley, I have no idea. Even though both Paisley and Bambi were conflicted about these newly discovered feelings, it seemed that the universe kept pulling them back together. They sat next to each other in class, worked on projects together, and eventually project dates slowly became real dates. And everything was great until someone found out about their relationship. Hey, I was wondering where you were so I could show you this dress I've been talking about. Sorry, Softy, I haven't had the chance to get away from the gang to see you, but trust me, I didn't miss it. You look drop-dead gorgeous. 
I could say the same about you, but I get it. But I'm away from them now. And there doesn't look to be a single softie in sight. What do you say we get out of here? Sounds perfect. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Coming. Oh God, I knew it. You never should have messed with me, Bambi. Now I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Mia! Mia! Giselle? What the hell do you want? So, remember that favor you owe me? For what? You know, when we- I thought we agreed not to talk about that because it was a mistake. Still, you owe me a favor and I want to cash it in. <sighs> Fine, what do you want? I just texted you a video, and I want you to make it go viral. Okay, fine, whatever. I have to go now. Bye. Bye, Mia. So, yeah. Oh, who is it? That's Giselle. Why the hell are you texting her? Oh, I just owed her a favor. Who's in the mood for exposing a secret couple? Ooh, who are the lovebirds? <gasps> Let me see. <gasps> oh my god, you guys girls aren't even gonna believe this. Well, don't keep us waiting, Mia. Spit it out. Who is it? Bambi Hill and Paisley Diaz. Oh my god. Wait, isn't Bambi from the Rose Thorns? And Paisley's a softie. This could be our biggest scandal yet, girls. Wait, wait, we, we should be smart about this. And what the hell are you going off about, Marina? Let's just expose them. Well, it's just that Bambi's one of the higher up in the Rose Thorns. If we blackmail her, it, it could come in handy later. Hmm. You know, Marina, you make a good point. We'll corner her at school on Monday, then. I, um, actually have to use the restroom real quick. Marina? W what is it? Bambi, we have a problem. Jesus, what is it? Just say it already. Giselle got a video of you and Paisley kissing and send it to Amanda, who's gonna corner you on Monday and blackmail you with it. Oh my god. I am so sorry, Bambi. I, I have to go, but I thought I just should let you know. Uh, of course. Uh, thanks, Marina, for letting me know. It, it's no problem. Well, if it isn't the traitor... I don't know what you're talking about, Amanda. Oh, she's probably talking about the video that we have. You know, of you kissing Paisley Diaz. The softy. Well, I'm assuming, since you haven't already posted it, you want something from me? Well, you're a smart girl, aren't you? We want loyalty from you to us, the populars. So you want me to be your lapdog? Not quite how I would have phrased it, but essentially yes. <sighs> Fine, but don't ever let that video see the light of day, you hear me? Sure thing, honey, but one more thing. What? Isn't me being your servant enough for you? Hmm, not quite. Break up with her. What? You heard me. Hell no! Oh, calm down. You can get right back together afterwards. Just, I'm in the mood for a little drama. You're sick, Amanda! Oh, I know, honey. So, do we have a deal? Fine. Good. I can't wait for the show to start. <sighs> Rot in hell, Amanda! Same to you, honey! Wait, so what did you need to tell me? Paisley, we... we can't see each other anymore. W what What am I even doing? Wake up, Paisley! I never cared about you. Not once. But Bambi, what are you saying? I'm saying I faked our whole relationship. No! Oh, what's wrong? Did you actually think someone like me and someone like you could ever be together? <laughs> yeah, 
No way. You're way too nice for my taste. I... I, I can't believe you! I went against everyone for you! Do you even know what I risked for you? Why the hell should I even care? I'm not out to my parents, you know. You know why? Because they'd send me to some boarding school if they ever found out that their daughter was gay. Th that's not my problem. God, you know what? You're right. I never should have dated you. You were the worst mistake of my life. W what the hell? What the hell, Bambi? Just because you didn't give two craps about me doesn't mean you had to ruin my life, too! Paisley, I- Those female dogs put that video up? I never should have trusted them. So, I heard you and your softy girlfriend broke up. Oh, screw off, Giselle. Oh, come on, baby. Don't be like this. Look, Giselle, I don't like you. I honestly never have. I just like the attention you gave me. <sighs> what the hell? You're screwed up, Bambi. No, you are. If it wasn't for you, me and my girlfriend would still be together. But you were too jealous. And don't let that happen, weren't you? Hey, Giselle, Neve wants to talk to you. Okay, thanks for letting me know, Zari. But for the record, it wouldn't have mattered. You two never would have stayed together. What's she so pissed off about? Oh, it's a really long story. Jesus Christ. Yeah, my feelings exactly. Here's my question. Why didn't you just tell Paisley that it was all an act? Oh my god. I feel like such an idiot. Look, Bambi, I don't know you well, but even I know that you have a lot of trouble asking other pets for help. You make a good point, but... Nevaeh would have literally killed me if she found out. It's a miracle she hasn't seen the video yet. Yeah, that's true, but next time, ask for help. Yeah, you'll probably be the first person I come to. Thanks, Zar. Anytime. Now, what the hell are you still doing here? Go apologize. Does it even matter? Trust me, it does. Fine, fine, but... I'll wait until school. It doesn't really matter now, does it? Yeah, I guess not. Hmm. I wonder where she is. Hey, uh, you're Bambi, right? Uh, yeah, but do I know you? Oh, uh, no, but I'm Paisley's best friend, Vera. Oh, uh, yeah, she mentioned you a few times. Yeah, uh, anyways, she wanted me to give you this. What? Is this? Just read it. Okay. Dear Bambi, Dear Bambi I, know I know what you said at the park was an act. act. I saw the pop the there, there while we were walking around. around. It, it didn't, didn't take, take me long to put two, two and two together. together. But, but you are a really good really actress, actress for the record. For the record. Anyways, Anyways, you might, you be, might wondering be wondering why I'm telling you this in a letter instead of just, well, telling you in person. Well, well, that's because I can't. can't. By the time Vera hands, hands this letter, letter to you, to you I'll, I'll have already, already left, left for my new boarding school. school. I told you I told it would you happen if my family found out, out what I truly was. was. But, but I just wanted, I just to, wanted say, to say, against, against all, all odds, odds, the universe, universe seemed to throw at us. I love you, Bambi Hill. There, I said it first, as you knew I would. But, but, but I mean, I mean it. it, and I hope and next, I hope time, next time, time you're not, you're too, not late. too late. And, and you, you listen, listen to what your heart, heart wants, wants instead of what other pets want for you. For you. And someday, and someday I, I really hope really we hope meet we again. again. With lots, lots of love, love. Pace, Pace. I, I love you too, Softie.